Hello, this is Sanit here, and welcome to my final Ranger Key review. As of right now, and as for the foreseeable future, Bandai has finished Ranger Keys with this final seventh wave, the second Toys R Us exclusive wave of Ranger Keys. We're probably not getting anything else. So I'm calling this the final Ranger Key review. I have neglected to review several Ranger Key packs that have come out. I reviewed the first four waves of regular retail releases. You can check those out. I put a comment in the description below. Those cover all the 20 main teams of Power Rangers and the sounds they make in the Morpher. This review will not be focused on what the sounds are in the Legendary Morpher. They're the same as in those other reviews because all of these are additional packs to expand the teams that we already started and to finish some of them. Now, I never reviewed the Mighty Morphin Pack C, Mighty Morphin Pack D, or Super Mega Force Pack C. I don't own Super Mega Force Pack C. It's a clear silver, blue, and pink. There's no point for me to own that. I never bought it. I don't feel like I'm missing anything there. The Mighty Morphin C and D, though, I do have, and I'll review those first in this video. I also never looked at the three exclusive keys in the 20 key set, so I want to look at those as well, and go through the two ways of Toys R Us exclusive keys. Like I said, I'm not going to focus on the sounds. I'm going to talk about the keys, how the paint is, molding, stuff like that. Briefly talk about each pack. Maybe even talk about what I think the pack should have been. Because some of these assortments for packs just aren't ideal. But, without further ado, let's take our final look at Bandai of America's Ranger Key line. So we begin with Mighty Morphin Pack C and D. Pack C included a translucent red ranger, the yellow ranger, and a translucent white ranger. Pack D includes a translucent blue ranger, a pink ranger, and a translucent green ranger. Hope you like the word translucent. You'll be hearing it a lot in this review. First of all, we don't care about those. We're focusing on these two here. Uh, these are our new keys, and they look great. Uh, they complete the Mighty Morphin team, which is fantastic, and I think they're awesome. The... Uh, Pink and yellow keys were released as part of a Comic-Con set where they were metallic, and we thought that was the only way they were going to come out. But that was not the case, which is really cool. Unfortunately, it should have just been these two and a metallic green because Tommy, instead of being two separate sets. But what can you do? That is Bandai for you. And that's pretty much all there is to say about sets C and D. Now we'll talk about the keys that came with the 20-key set. The 20 key set was mostly repacks, including the Silver Super Mega Force and Robo Knight. Thank you, Bandai. Now I don't need to buy your stupid roleplay items that are overpriced. I could just buy the set on sale at Black Friday. And it includes the Quantum Ranger, the Yellow Dino Thunder Ranger, and the InSpace Silver Ranger as exclusive keys. First of all, Robo Knight and Silver Super Mega Force, they are the same as their individual packs. Robo Knight's really nicely painted, so is Megaforce Silver. They look really good overall. Uh, they are a solid, like, they're more of a bland silver. Uh, you'll notice the rest of the silver keys are shinier, but there's those. Those are cool. Quantum Ranger here. Six Ranger, four Time Force. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. In Space Silver. He is a nice metallic silver paint here. Really, really cool overall. And Dino Thunder Yellow is a female for the set. So it's kind of like getting a bonus key pack uh, that's just made up of random rangers. Here we have the Mighty Morphin Alien Pack B. This is a Toys R Us exclusive and includes the yellow, white alien rangers plus Ninjor. What's fun about Ninjor is that he didn't really need to exist, but there was a Ninja Man key in Japan, so I guess Bandai of America needed to to rival that with their own. He's really nice looking. He's not technically a ranger. He's not seen in Super Mega Force uh, Legendary War to be a ranger, but it is neat he got a key. Uh, he does have the Mighty Morphin symbol, so you can put him with your Mighty Morphin uh, team or your Alien Rangers team. It's a nice thing to have him as a bonus key. He didn't really need to be made, but I really, really appreciate the fact that he did. We also got Delphine here who we finally have the leader of the Alien Rangers in the second key pack, which is great. Thank you for this Bandai, which looks great. And to complete the Alien Rangers, we have Titus, Alien Yellow, who completes the set. So we do have another complete team there, which is pretty nice overall. 
got to say, this is probably one of the most in-demand packs, mostly because of Ninjork. It's, hey, we got a new Ninjork thing. That's pretty awesome. Overall, it's a great set. No complaints. Here is Zeo Pack B in the next Toys R exclusive. We finally get Zeo Ranger 4 Green, who was originally advertised to be in Pack A, but ended up being in Pack B, which is fine by me, especially since we got Zeo Ranger 2 in Pack A. Zeo Ranger 1, who's also in the 20 key set. There you go. And the Gold Ranger. Looks really, really nice, I gotta say. Nice metallic gold color as well. Overall, Zeo Pack B. Again, it completes a team. It doesn't really have any flaws. I think this is one of the better packs of the whole line. Here is Turbo Pack B. We have Turbo Pink, who is in the 20 key set as well, which is nice. Now, I would have liked a Turbo Yellow as well, but instead we did get two kind of cool keys. The Blue Centurion gets his own key. It's kind of the unofficial 6th Ranger for Turbo anyway, so that's kind of neat. And we do get a Phantom Ranger key, which doesn't even exist in Japan. This is an American exclusive key, much like the Armored Red. Because he meant more to America than Japan. And, yeah, it's Turbo Pack B. I really would have liked to see maybe pink, yellow, and phantom, or this pack, and then have had yellow in the 20 key set. So much praising I had. And then we get to our first pack that came out in the second wave, in order, in space. Here's the new key, in space yellow, good old Ashley. Looks really good, she's got a skirt and everything. Really appreciate that bandai, it's, it's really nice detail. And then instead of getting Cassie as well, we get Translucent TJ and Translucent Andros. I understand why Silver was not included, because he was said to be an exclusive to the 20 key set, and they stuck to that. But two Translucent keys and only one new one. Eh, it kind of sucks. Here is Lost Galaxy Pack B. This one disappointed me, uh, admittedly. I'm a huge Lost Galaxy fan. I did not want to see Translucent Damon. I wanted to see Kendrick's in the set. Thing is, with Maya here, is she was a male ranger in Japan, so if they're doing one female per pack, or they only wanted to have one female looking ranger per pack, they could have still put Kendrick slash Caron in here, and then this could have passed as a male ranger, but they decided not to. But, at the very least, I did get my favorite ranger as a key, and yes, the Magnet Defender's a ranger. He's the only uh, one of the debatable hero characters to appear in Super Mega Forces Legendary Battle, therefore he is a ranger. So yeah, Magnum Defender's a ranger. So I can finally call him my favorite ranger. Anyways, this cat, this set just needed Kendricks. And here's Lightspeed Rescue Pack B. Oh, there's no Lightspeed Rescue Pack B, but there were eight packs in Wave 1. Shouldn't there be eight packs in Wave 2? There were only seven? Why is there no second Lightspeed Rescue Pack? Here we have Time Force Pack B. Goodbye, Translucent West. Goodbye, Translucent Trip. You only care about Jin here. Who looks really nice overall. Good painted skirt. Really well put together. Good key. Where the hell's Katie? Come on, buys. Come on, Bandai. Like, I don't get it. Two Translucent keys and a new one just isn't working for me. Here is Wild Force Pack B. Goodbye Translucent Danny, we don't care about you. Here's Taylor. Friggin' cool. This is really nice to paint. No skirt because the Japanese suit did not have a skirt and it did not have a skirt till Super Mega Force, so that is accurate. Thank you for the attention to detail, Bandai. You also get the Lunar Wolf Ranger, who looks really nice with the silver on here, which looks really, really good. Now, again, the question is, where is Elisa? Here is Ninja Storm Pack B, my favorite of the Toys R Us exclusive sets. Not just because it's Ninja Storm, but also that it completes a team perfectly. First up, we have Hunter, the Crimson Thunder Ranger, who is a very nice shade of red with nice gold accents. It looks really good. We have Blake, the Navy Thunder Ranger, who's a good blue color. And then we have Cam, the green-ish Samurai Ranger, who looks really good with the gold accents. This completes Ninja Storm. It's also an all-male pack, which is convenient for Bandai, but the fact that they already released the female key means we didn't lose out on a female key. 
just as we had a great pack, we now have a pretty sucky one. First of all, goodbye Translucent Connor. Goodbye third Translucent Tommy. Hello Trent. Trent is the last of the Dino Thunder keys. This set only sucks because there's only one new key, but out of all of them, this one kind of is excusable because, well, we got Kira in the 20 key set. I understand why they packed Tommy in. Why the heck isn't that a Triassic Ranger? That would have been neat, but... Nah. Darn it, I can't really fault this set. There's only one new key, but there's only one more to be made. SPD set B is good. Three brand new keys. Here's Sid. I'm all good with number five. Pink Ranger represent. Nice they didn't pick yellow, which was, which was kind of nice. Next we have Sam the Omega Ranger, Mr. Ball of Light. Looks really, really good. Like, dang, the paint on this guy is sharp. Looks really nice overall. White keys are in short supply. And then we got Doggy Kruger, the Shadow Ranger, who is probably like the best key in the set. Which looks great. Now, yes, we did not get Z, but Omega and Shadow are both kind of the six Rangers, and people really like them, so I kind of understand. Here is Mystic Force Pack B, also known as the Bandai Sorry for Not Doing This During the Actual Show Run Pack as we get three rangers that didn't get made properly as figures back during Mystic Force. Dagger on the Solaris Knight, Lee and Bo the Wolf Warrior, and Udana the White Mystic Ranger, they never got proper figures back during Mystic Force. There was kind of a red uh, Korag figure released, and there was kind of a Solaris Knight in the Armored line, but never a proper one, which is kind of weird. But I do appreciate this set. Yes, we don't get Vita and Madison, but we do get Wolf Warrior, who we thought was just a repack of Mystic Force Red based on this, until someone looked and was like, oh, hey, look, it's actually Wolf Warrior. Slayer's Knight, looking real sharp here. Oh, I also think it helps that the Wolf Warrior was used in show, so that justifies it for being here, too. And, of course, Udana, who was... I don't know, I remember, she was really... Uh, people were really pushing for her in the the Morphin Madness incident. But yeah, I really like this pack. It doesn't complete the team, but I don't really care. Bandai kind of made up for not releasing them before. Hey look, a pack that's as bad as the season it came from. Goodbye Translucent Mac. Here's Ronnie. Now Ronnie here, I have one big complaint with Ronnie. First of all, Pink Symbol's really nicely painted on these, uh, unlike the pack A. Just has this little spot for a skirt, but no actual dividing lines. Um, don't really like that too much. She looks good. Mercury Ranger ties on. He's actually turned, his head's turned to the side, which is kind of weird, but he looks good overall, too. The new keys are fine. Eh, it's just, where is Rose? Time for more baffling news. Jungle Fury Pack B. Look at this. Look at this. We got a Translucent Ranger, because we only needed two to finish the team. But instead of making red translucent, they added yellow. Hey, go Lily. She, she friggin' rocked it, being the only female translucent key to exist. Yeah. Awesome. I'm not knocking this one away. That one's pretty cool. We also get Dominic, the white rhino ranger, who is brand new in solid colors. And then we get RJ. Yay, one of my favorite rangers of all time. That's a translucent key. What? Um... Okay, Band, I know you released a metallic Wolf Warrior key in your Power Morphicon set that was stupid, and we'll talk about that later. Um, so why isn't this just a regular Wolf Warrior? It's kind of confusing that he's purple, but I guess it's animal spirit mode. The translucent purple is nice, and I do appreciate getting an RJ at retail. But I really would have liked like a you know, full, full color one to just kind of match in. But overall, out of all of them, the translucent purple is deep enough to where it doesn't match too badly. It's a weird little set, but I kind of like it. Speaking of weird sets, RPM Pack B includes Ziggy, Jim, and Gemma. Not Ziggy, Dylan, and Jim. I honestly expected them to leave Gemma out. Because uh, Bandai just seems to be leaving out female rangers. They left out a male ranger. That's, that's a lot of credit to them. But gold and silver being in the same pack, it's awesome. Love it, especially since silver is like the only female six ranger. Now, our skirt isn't too defined, but oh well. Just really like having those two keys. They're really sharp looking, and I really do like them. Our final pack. 
It's been a long time coming. Is Samurai B. Goodbye, Translucent Jaden. You should have been Lauren. It's not that hard to paint a skirt, Bandai. Look, you did it right here. Just do that on that. People won't necessarily notice. Kids won't notice if there's a female red there. They'll just be like, oh, look, it's a Red Ranger. They'll probably be sick of having the Red Ranger. Anyways, here's Mia. Mia looks good. There's no Emily in the set either, which is sad. And then you got Antonio, who's all gold. Yay, gold! Woohoo! And that is all the key packs. Let's bring every Ranger key together, minus the Power Morphicon set, because dang it, Bandai, you make only 500 Titanium Rangers and 500 solid Wolf Rangers. Ah, why do you do that? Why is there not an alternative for that? Why do you make two of the coolest Rangers limited to 500? That means 500 fans can only have a, only have a complete Ranger Key collection. There should have been a second light speed pack with the non-metallic titanium ranger. The translucent RJ should have been just a regular solid color because now I can't have the titanium ranger in this display to show every ranger key and I'll probably never own that set. That is the one of the biggest missteps in the line was that power morphicon set. Especially since there's only 500. There were more 100 disc power ranger legacy collection sets than that key pack. That's idiotically dumb. But let's bring the whole Ranger Key collection together. Here it is, folks. What I worked an hour to stand up all of the Ranger Keys, all 103 of them. This is every unique Ranger, not counting my, like, bucket full of translucent keys. This is all 103 retail released Ranger Keys. That's at American Retail. The only one I don't have, like I said, is the Titanium Ranger. That would be 104. So let's say this. Bandai made 104 keys, which means you can have, uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 rows of 8 keys. And it's an even number, at least. And it looks really, really cool when it's all put together. The issue does come down to we are missing a lot of rangers still. Um, I feel like one more wave of key packs would have solved this issue. For example, we have Mighty Morphin, Alien, Zeo, uh, Ninja Storm, Dino Thunder, uh, Jungle Fury, uh, Super Mega Force Complete. A lot of gaps in the middle there. Uh, most of them are just missing one member. That's what I kind of want to just run through, show each team how they were made. Show who's missing. Because I feel like Bandai really could have finished the set. Instead, we got kind of a random assortment with some of these Rangers. But overall, the group as a whole here just looks really cool. I gotta say that 103 Ranger Keys does look impressive, but that one gap missing a titanium uh, makes it in the uneven number. We'll just, uh, we'll just insert a clear lily, because... Dang it, it's like the one female translucent key. But yeah, let's just take a look at the keys, because I really want to show this off. Just all those colors and so little pink. We have one, two, three, four, five, six pink rangers. And I definitely stuck with the same colors here. Anyways, regardless of what's missing, it is an impressive looking set of keys, I'll give it that. Beginning with Mighty Morphin. They completed the team. They gave us an Armored Red and Ninjor, which weren't even necessary. Bandai did a good job with Mighty Morphin. Did we need as many translucent keys as we got? Overall, I have way too many translucent keys. But, when it comes down to it, Mighty Morphin was complete. Bandai successfully executed this team. The Alien Rangers don't get any love in any media, and yet somehow Bandai released all five of their keys. Thank you for this, Bandai. It makes up for not having an Alien Ranger team card in the card game. And it makes up for not having hardly any Alien Ranger merchandise ever. At least we have one team of Alien Rangers. It's at least these Ranger keys. And while I think that I complained about the first key pack not having Delphine, the fact that she came later made up for it. So, good job, Bandai. Zeo, another complete team. This was how things should have been going. 
two male rangers and a female ranger in the first pack, and two male rangers and a female ranger in the second pack, advertising the red in the first pack and the sixth in the second. Zia was the perfect execution of releasing a ranger key team. Turbo lacks one yellow ranger. Unfortunately with Turbo, there were seven rangers, technically, give or take, and Bandai opted to go with the Blue Centurion and the Phantom Ranger for, you know, popularity's sakes. If you're a kid that doesn't know Turbo, you probably want to get these guys as opposed to another, uh, you know, yellow ranger that looks like the rest of them. So, I do admit they did it for variety, but the lack of a yellow Turbo key is really disappointing, especially when there was a 20 key set that had a key from each season. And they put in pink, even though she was coming in a pack later. I feel like yellow really should have been in that key set. In Space is probably one of the most popular non-Mighty Morphin seasons, and the fact we didn't get a whole team on keys is really ridiculous. There was no pink in Space key, and much like with Turbo, I feel like they could have included that in the 20 key set, put the silver in the second set, you know, advertised as a sixth, and we would have had a full team. But... That's not what happened here. Lost Galaxy also did not have a pink ranger, and that's two characters that got missed out on having a key, which is really sad. And the thing was is that we got a clear green daemon instead of getting a, a Lost Galaxy pink, and we got a repack of daemon in the 20 key set instead of getting a pink. And I seem to really love daemon. Just, just noticing he got released three times. Leo didn't even get released three times. But, sadly, Lost Galaxy is not complete. Talking about screw-ups, Lightspeed Rescue. Got one key pack, the Titanium Ranger key. There's only 500 of them out there. And they were a Power Morphicon exclusive. And yellow and pink were never made. Instead, we got a repack of one of these three guys in the 20 key set. We could have at least gotten a pink or a yellow. But instead, we are stuck with half of a team, which is the lowest number of the retail keys. Time Force is missing a Yellow Ranger. That's about it. Uh, she should have been with pink. Uh, it should have been yellow, pink, and the clear red. But it was just pink and two other clear keys. <sighs> this is getting depressing. Wild Force is lacking a white Wild Force Ranger. She should have been included in the 20 key set. I feel like I keep saying this with every team that's missing one Ranger. Thank you, Bandai. My favorite Ranger team of all time was complete. This was the easiest to do when they decided, let's put the trio of Rangers, since it started out with three, you know, in a pack together. And then we can put the other three out in another pack. Genius! That's how they should have gone. This team only had one female ranger, so I guess it made it easier for them. But, come on, it worked really, really effectively. You got all six rangers in two packs. That's how it should have been for all of them. Well, I guess it doesn't apply for Dino Thunder, since they only had five rangers. But, yeah, this was kind of weird. But, hey, it's a complete team. I'm going to give Bandai credit there. Uh, of course, you know, it should have been these three in one pack, but they swapped in Tommy. And the fact she was off in the 20 key set left buying a whole pack for just him. But what can you do? There's a complete Dino Thunder team. That's not too shabby. SPD is lacking two white stripes on numbers and a yellow ranger. Uh, again, 20 key pack. I already said that a few times. The most awkward part of the SPD is the numbers in the chest. Because now we have 1, 2, 3, 5, 6. Darn. Well, not much you can do. We're also missing Cat Ranger and Nova, but those were one-episode-ish appearances, so not as important. But knowing how unpopular Omega Ranger is, I have wanted to leave him out, Bandai. But knowing Shadow Ranger is also popular, and Omega Ranger is part of the main sixth, you kind of have both here, I guess. But, yeah, lack of SPD yellow is dreadful. Mystic Force is lacking two Rangers. Both blue and pink Mystic Rangers were excluded, and the blue Mystic Ranger is the only blue Ranger to be excluded from a team. So it was kind of weird that way. But instead we got Liambo, Udana, and Dagger on as a set, which I really liked. But I would have liked to see another Mystic Force set to finish off the team. 
or you know had at least blue in the 20 key set the thing is this is one of the bigger teams in Power Rangers history so it was a little bit harder to complete and I understand why Banda wasn't able to pull this one off Operation Overdrive is missing a pink ranger plain and simple should have been in the 20 key set yada yada Jungle Fury Spirit RJ or not is complete. The five main rangers are here. Yeah, we don't have spirit rangers, but yeah, those are kind of debatable. They're more animal spirits come to life than actual rangers, and they didn't appear at the legendary battle either. So those were kind of an add-on thing, and without them, you're not really losing much. You still have the core five Jungle Fury rangers as keys released across two key packs, with an extra translucent yellow thrown in. Yay. So overall, I can't complain. I'm happy with this set of uh, Jungle Fury keys, especially since I really like Jungle Fury. Bandai, good job. You managed to complete all the five member teams. The easiest things to do, yes. Let's count RPM. One, two, three, four. Gold and silver. Hey, it works. We didn't get RPM Black, surprisingly, because he was like the main character of the season, too. But, hey, I appreciate it, because I'd rather have gold and silver, honestly. And I'm glad they didn't just cop out and make them the hybrid key and throw in, you know, RPM Black. I'd rather have this lineup, um, which is pretty nice. I do like having these as separate keys, especially since Gemma is the only female sixth ranger. It is counted as a sixth as part of Mega Force Silver's powers. So, that's pretty cool overall. And, yeah, we're one short for this team, but... Again, seven-member teams are a little harder to pull off than the six-member teams. Here's where things get weird. Samurai was a very popular season with kids because it was a nice revival of Power Rangers, and Bandai really liked Samurai, putting a lot in the card game from the previous year. But, man, we didn't get a complete set of Ranger keys, especially when we were supposed to. The 20-key set was originally, instead of being a mixture of all the seasons, was just straight up, here's all the Mighty Morphin, Samurai, Mega Force, and Super Mega Force just in a pack. And so we never got a Samurai Yellow, but it kind of surprised me. Also, we didn't get a, uh, you know, female Samurai Red Ranger. Should have been easy as adding a little red paint, but, eh, whatever. It's an almost complete team. Emphasis on almost. What's truly baffling, though, is that the prior season's keys never got finished. You think with Mega Force going into Super Mega Force and having the Mega Force suits in the show you would actually have all their keys made. It's weird that yellow and pink just didn't come out and that Robo Knight was only in the 20 key set and in a roleplay weapon for Super Mega Silver. So it's kind of weird that this team didn't get completed, especially since it was the most recent one beyond, you know, the current series. So, kind of weird. And technically only the Robo Knight, Robo Knight key and the Blue Mega Force key appeared in show, but still, it's kind of weird there wasn't, you know, a complete set here. The final team, Super Mega Force, is complete. Bandai pulled it off. They had one pack with red, blue, green. They had another pack with a uh, metallic red, which you can see here. Thank you, not being translucent. And a pink and yellow. And then they had Silver come out in his Morpher in the 20 key set. And as a backup, as a clear key in a Super Mega Force set C. They did a good job distributing the main team, which is really good. I think it would have been really dumb if they hadn't complete the current series' team. Especially when they lock, you know, a, a chain sound effect uh, with the main five. So, that's pretty neat overall. But, that's it for Ranger Keys. We have come to the end. Call it a success or a failure, but over two years, Bandai managed to put out 103 Ranger Keys at retail. 104 unique characters overall, and a ton of variant keys that I don't care about. And yet, we still didn't get to complete all the teams. Only 7 of the 20 teams actually got finished. That's less than half. It's not good odds, and most of them were just missing one ranger. I feel like the 20 key set that was made should not have just been 3 exclusive keys and then 13 repacks. It really should have been... Here's one new key for each team. That way you have a wide variety of colors. You can activate the main sounds and Legendary Morpher. And with the Toys R Us exclusive packs that came later on, we would have had 
all the rangers. Overall, you're left with an incomplete set when you have a complete set, which admittedly kind of sucks. But I don't think Bandai is going to be doing any other Ranger Key projects in the future, so this might be the last time that I'll review any Ranger Keys. Uh, Bandai of Japan certainly finished. They're not doing any more. Bandai of America is probably not going to do any more either. But you never know, they might surprise us. Probably not, though. I sadly think that the Ranger Key boat has sailed, especially with the shoddy distribution on the final wave. Luckily, I was able to find mine at Toys R Us, or else I probably wouldn't have gotten them. Well, anyways, it's been a fun ride reviewing Ranger Keys, talking about the controversies and how they've only stuck one female per pack. They literally didn't put more than one female in a pack. Um, so, what can you do? It's in the past now, and we've moved on to Dino Chargers, where we're almost done in the first half of Dino Charge. So, they are learning overall. Anyways, be sure to check out HeroTaka.com for all your Power Rangers news and more. Stay tuned to Sound Out 12 for more Power Rangers reviews, where I promise I will talk about something more uplifting than the fact that we have incomplete Ranger Key teams. Until I'm the Sound saying, for the last time, I'm closing the Ranger Key chest. Oh.